I want you to start pushing. Push. A, I want you to push. Push. B, what are you doing? Nothing. 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 Some of you are doing nothing. What are some of you doing? It's all set. You're pushing back. <laughs> Not really. No, I have some tension in your face. Some of the bees have such tension in their face. Why are you pushing back? <laughs> I'm, I'm the one who's pushing. You're pushing? I'm being, I'm oh, I'm being. you had some real strength. Some of you really, some bees were really pushing back. You can drop your hands now. <laughs> some of you, when I saw a bee, some of you just moved right into it. And bees, some bees start to push right back. And there's no way you're coming into my space. <laughs> it's almost sometimes instinctive for us to push back when someone pushes, isn't it? Today what I'm going to invite you to do is to step away from practices and patterns that are very automatic for us and may not serve us very well. And I'm going to encourage us to adapt some practices and some procedures, new ways for engaging with the multi-generations in our workplace. That's going to be our challenge and our opportunity today. So what's on our agenda? We've got three things that we'd like to do today. First of all, looking at generational differences. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time discussing all of the generations, just enough so that we have some language to work with today. And I want to share with you my research. This has been a 12-year love for me. A 12-year love looking at generations. Um, when I finished my, um, um, I had the privilege of writing a, a book on generations, multi-generations, in 2014. I thought I was done. I thought I was done. And then I was privileged to get a grant, an international grant, to do a four-year study, international study, on millennials as they move into the global marketplace as leaders. Um, so the, the journey continues. So we'll take a look at the generations, and then we're going to look at something really important. We're going to be looking at how we exercise our leadership. That is how every single one of us in this room can exercise our leadership to create unity in a multi-generational workplace. Whether that workplace is your university, your college, if you are not in the college or university system, if you spend your time in the classroom, if you spend your time in, uh, in administration. So wherever you are in the workplace, how you can exercise that leadership going forward. And the third thing we're going to do is we're going to create some space today, it's workshop based, so that we can discuss the application of the learning to your practice. One thing I want us to keep in mind as we work together is that it's sometimes be so easy for us to stereotype. And what we want to focus on today is what the research tells us are the general patterns and practices pertaining to generations. So that we don't slip into that area of stereotype. It's one area I want to really stress for us as we go forward. Okay, so with your apartment, the person that's closest to you, I'd like you to have about a two minute and 30 second conversation about what your experiences are like in a multi-generational classroom or workplace. How would you describe your experiences? Turn to your partner and share a couple of those experiences. <laughs> 